guys. Norm over here on the Vintage Guitar Minute for the All Guitar Network. This is a 1956 Les Paul TV special. Um, really nice, single cutaway. Shows a little bit of wear, but still a very, very nice guitar. Original uh, soft alligator case. Um, 1956. TV color, TV yellow, because in black and white TVs, this would show up really good, so it's known as a TV yellow. And the two P90 pickups, rosewood fingerboard, dot inlay, stop tail, original knobs, original buttons, original everything. Uh, just a very cool guitar. And uh, just came in this, I think has the original uh, key with the case. And I believe it has a tag, the Rotomatic string tag, a Sonomatic string tag. And it's got an original strap that came with it too. So it's kind of a nice set. Uh, beautiful Les Paul TV special, 1956. Um, this is a 1942 D'Angelico New Yorker. And this is the kind of equivalent of the Super 400. It's the 18 plus inch body. Um, beautiful plain maple sides and back, maple neck, um, ebony fingerboard, original bridge, original tailpiece. This is a repro pick guard. I am not sure, but this may have been refretted. I think it was refretted. And uh, just this was the top of the line of the D'Angelico's. They have, you know, that real Art Deco New York tailpiece um, and the beautiful head, headstock design and the New Yorker inlay up on the top, split block inlays on the fingerboard and bound F holes, just a beautiful, beautiful guitar. Um, D'Angelico was the um, cream of the crop of the um, Archtop boutique makers back in the day. This one was made in 1942. This is the original case. And as you can see, there's still part of the sticker from uh, D'Angelico's shop on the outside of the case. Cool. Very cool. Okay, guys, this is a 1935 D'Angelico XL. And the XL was kind of the equivalent of the L5, where the New Yorker was the equivalent of the Super 400. This is a repro guard. The guitar's original finish, bound F holes, um, beautiful inlay work. Um, XL on top, spelled E X C E L. And uh, it has the inlay with the uh, you know, the etching on the fingerboard inlays. Just a stunning guitar, beautiful flame maple sides and back. Um, again, by the great John D'Angelico, one of the great guitar makers of his time. This is a little more of a plain tailpiece uh, than he uses on some of his stuff, but it's very, very cool. Original case. And So this guitar was made the same year as the um, the New Yorker. This is an XL, 17 inch XL, um, beautiful blonde finish. Um, as you can see the inlay up on the top, there's a heart that says Bob. Bob was John D'Angelico's nephew and I got the guitar directly from him. Uh, it's been refretted, um, ebony, bore, ebony bridge, original bridge, beautiful flame maple sides and back, original case. Um, and this is in the ledger, uh, the serial number on this one, it says special. And I believe there were two guitars with the same serial number. This one says special and it was made for John's nephew, Bob. And just a very cool guitar. The Angelico tailpiece, a little bit different from the other one that we saw. And just an amazing, beautiful jazz guitar.